Dalom family. So I've been asked to cover this again. I did cover it in the last year. But um, let's touch on it again for those that weren't here then and those that need a refresher or something to share with friends. So if you had three physical signs that you were about to suffer a heart attack, you'd consult a doctor really quickly. You'd do something about it. If you had three signs that a hurricane was coming directly towards your house, you, you would get ready. You would prepare. You would know that you need to actually take action now. So why, when there are so many signs pointing to the soon rapture of the church, the return of Jesus Christ for his bride, is everyone sleeping, buying and selling, you know, continuing, moving on in the world and just focused on everything in their daily lives? Why? Because none as blind as those who do not want to see and none as deaf as those who do not want to hear. So let's cover some of the things that are happening. Increasing instability of nature, Matthew 24 verse 7 and Luke 21 11. If you're on this channel and you go to the community page on a basically daily basis, I'm posting all of the storms and chaos and volcanoes and earthquakes and everything happening on the instability of nature daily. It's so much that I don't even make videos about them anymore. I post them straight to the community wall. That is how out of whack nature is in preparation for the judgment that lies ahead. Increasing lawlessness and violence, Matthew 24, 12. We see this all the time, everywhere now, in the, the media, in every city in the world. Chaos, lawlessness abounds and the love of many has grown cold. Increasing materialism, 2 Timothy 3, verse 2, everywhere. Increasing hedonism, 2 Timothy 3, verse 4, everywhere. Increasing uh, of calling evil good and good evil. This has become the norm in the world right now. 2 Timothy 3.3 3 and Isaiah 5.20. Evil is good and good is evil. Increasing blasphemy. 2 Timothy 3 verse 2. Specifically in the media and in Hollywood and everywhere else. And people just using it in everyday language. Signs in the heavens. Luke 21 verse 11 and 25. Never before. In history, have we seen as many signs in the heavens as we are seeing right now? And as of the making of this video right now, the child asteroid moving out between the feet of the virgin that is above us. Everything in the heavens is just screaming sign after sign after sign. Increasing knowledge, Daniel 12, 4. It's the increased knowledge of mankind that has burst forth like never before in history. And also the increased knowledge of prophecy and end times as the books are unsealed for the final generation to understand what is about to come upon it. Increasing travel, Daniel 12, 4. All over the world, we flit to and fro everywhere like never before. The explosion of cults, Matthew 24, 11, like never before. And in first world countries, wizards are running for school boards. Where would you ever have thought something like that would be a reality? The proliferation of false Christs, Matthew 24, 5. Now for decades, we have seen this phenomena occurring regularly. Right now in the world, there are multiples between five and six different people claiming to be Jesus Christ and running cults. At this time, deceiving many. Increasing apostasy in the church, 2 Timothy 4, verse 3 to 5. People going off to teachers, false teachers with itching ears and not sticking to the truth of the word of God and correct teaching. Increasing persecution of Christians, Matthew 24, 9. Even though the world media tries to keep it quiet, it is ramping up everywhere in the world. Increasing occultism, 1 Timothy 4 verse 1, especially in first world countries now and in our faces. The church of Satan is no longer in the shadows. It is directly in our faces. Wiccans, witches, wizards, they're all out there. Wars and rumors of wars, Matthew 24, 6. Do I even need to elaborate here? From Ukraine to Africa to Taiwan and China to North and South Korea to you name it everywhere down to even the drug wars and the cartels wars rumors of wars everywhere right now increasing famine luke 21 11, never before and go and check even the un is sounding the alarm have we seen such food insecurity and a bleak outlook for the future than we do right now in this point in history increasing pestilence luke 21 11, 
It's all around us. It's all anyone's talking about. Television. Revelations 11 verse 8 to 9. Let me say, hold on. Television. Yes. They saw the two witnesses' bodies. All the peoples of the earth saw the two witnesses' bodies lying dead in the streets in Jerusalem. And they celebrated and sent each other's gifts. When in history could you ever have done that if you did not have television to be able to look and see the live stream of the dead bodies in the streets in Jerusalem? So there we have it. Governments moving towards one world government, new world order, and openly using the terms new world order. Daniel 7, 23 to 26. The regathering of the Jews. Isaiah 11, verse 10 to 12. The reestablishment of Israel. Isaiah 66, verse 7 to 8. The reclamation of the land of Israel. Ezekiel 36, verse 34 to 35. The revival of biblical Hebrew as a language, Zephaniah 3 verse 9 and Jeremiah 31 verse 23. The reoccupation of Jerusalem, Luke 21 verse 24. The resurgence of the Israeli military, Zechariah 12 verse 6. The refocusing of world politics on Israel, Zechariah 12 verse 3. The Russian threat to Israel. Ezekiel 38 and 39, and even now with the threats from Russia. The Arab threat to Israel, Ezekiel 35 and 36, Psalm 83, all these things are now in our faces with what's happening right now. Denial of the second coming of Christ, 2 Peter 3 verse 3 to 4. The outpouring of the Holy Spirit, Joel 2 verse 28 to 29. Translation of the Bible into multiple languages, Matthew 24, 14. Preaching of the gospel worldwide, Matthew 24, 14. The understanding of Bible prophecy, Daniel 12, verse 8 to 9. The Bible clearly teaches he never pours out his wrath without warning. He is a just and a loving God. He does not wish that any should perish, 2 Peter 3, verse 9. That's why he provides so many signs to alert you that you are in fact living on the threshold of the tribulation. There are many, many, many more convergences. We can talk about Damascus almost being a completely ruinous heap and being threatened with destruction right now in the last week by Israel. We can talk about the mark of the beast that has been fully trialed and tested, the chip implantable, and it can connect to everything and roll out worldwide. We can talk about CBDC, one world money system. We can talk about a one world religion. We can talk about all these things spoken of that will happen by the prophets of the end of days. And they have all come to pass in front of our eyes. We have nothing left that needs to happen. For the rapture of the church to take place. The rapture of the church can happen at any moment. We just wait for that trumpet sound for God to call us up. And him who promised, who is faithful and true, will come back and collect us. That where he is, there we may be also. So as much as scoffers scoff and people laugh, we see what's going on in the world. We listen. We focus, we spend time with the Holy Spirit, we pray and we seek God's face while we wait and watch until he returns. There's a crown for those who eagerly anticipate his return. God bless, stay encouraged, stay looking up. We fly very soon. Shalom.